Okay, let's do it. Community Platform Wars, Episode 2. Let's talk about the Chorus Community Platform today. The Chorus Community Platform emerged from the gaming sector as Lithium Technologies back in around 2001. And Lithium expanded very quickly over the years from a forum platform to offer ideation, gamification, groups, and a lot, lot more. And for a very long time, Lithium was the pioneer in this space. This changed in 2017, when Lithium was acquired by an investment firm. It was then merged with Spreadfast to create Chorus. What's different about Chorus? Chorus generally specializes in high volume customer support communities. Traditionally, this tends to include SaaS, telecoms, and some retail brands. Many of the largest communities right now are hosted by Chorus. And as we're about to find, there are some very good reasons for that. What's great about Chorus? Chorus stands out as an incredibly robust platform. Some of the advantages of Chorus include, one, a strong user experience. Whenever we test our clients' courses communities, we find it's a generally very intuitive platform for users to use and navigate around. Two, flexible design and customizations. Unlike Salesforce and cheaper options, you can customize your community experience significantly. Three, a strong mobile experience. Chorus has a good mobile responsive interface and a strong focus on mobile development. Four, SEO friendly pages. You often find accepted solutions showing up in search result snippets and the URL structure lends itself well to search engine optimization. Five, good performance and uptime. We don't often hear about communities which go down for any major length of time. The uptime of communities appears to have improved a lot over the last few years. Six, ideation and gamification. This is a lot better than most of their competitors. You have plenty of flexibility in the setup of gamification, and you can also use external partners like Bunchball if you want. Ideation is also well developed to the needs of members. Seven, accessibility. The Chorus platform abides by a very high level of accessibility standards. In some regions, this is even becoming the law, which makes Chorus a very attractive option. 8. APIs. The platform provides useful APIs to export data and automate many actions within the community. Some of our clients are even able to syndicate community content directly into their products. Perhaps fundamentally, Chorus doesn't have gaping flaws in its platform as many competitors do. And perhaps more importantly, community is a primary focus of the company. What's not great about Chorus? We've had many clients on Chorus over the years, and we've spoken to dozens of past and present customers to get their thoughts on this. What's been really interesting is almost every single person we've spoken to agrees on the couple of things that Chorus is not great at. One, a lack of innovation. Chorus is ponderously slow to launch new features. It took years to release groups, and the launch of Aurora, their big front-end user experience project, has been pushed back several times. Even today, it still hasn't launched. Chorus used to be far ahead of the competition. Today, it's hard to think of a single major innovation which has been released in the last few years. While Chorus isn't that bad at fixing bugs, it's not very good at innovating on the platform itself. Two, customizations. Customizations are a pain to create and maintain. Many clients have noted they need these customizations to make their community work, yet they almost unanimously stated it was very difficult to do this. It requires expertise in design and template scripting or reliance upon the Chorus professional services team. Another frequent complaint was that Chorus would take a client's customizations and then roll these out as features to other customers. Three, the professional services team. The professional services team has been criticized for being slow, difficult to work with, 
and unable to work in an agile way. This is especially difficult for communities which require the customizations we've just talked about. Both in community strategy consultancy and development work, the services team isn't close to the level that it used to be. Cores used to have these in-house professionals who are widely regarded as the industry's top experts. They definitely don't have that today. Four, staff turnover. Since its merger with Spreadfast, Cores has suffered from a staggeringly high level of turnover amongst staff. Many of our clients have complained about being passed over from one customer success manager to the next. Some even go through several representatives each year. This is an issue which still has not been resolved. Five is price. Course is at the premium end of the market. If you're not willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, this platform is not for you. And this price point means that many organizations look at alternative solutions each renewal time. They still do typically renew, but it's much less of a slam dunk than what it used to be. Ultimately, Chorus has lacked innovation since its acquisition, and the gap between Chorus and other platforms is a lot smaller today than what it used to be in the past. Some might even argue it doesn't exist anymore. The Aurora Project. In the coming months, or maybe years, Chorus will launch Aurora. This is essentially a new front-end interface built upon React that will enable a more drag and drop experience. This is rapidly becoming a de facto standard for community platforms. And this launch may in fact negate a lot of the weaknesses that we've talked about here, especially those regarding customizations. But unfortunately, the launch has been pushed back several times already, and it definitely remains to be seen how communities can utilize Aurora with their current customization. Should you use Chorus? for your community platform? I'll go with a qualified yes here. Yes, I think you should, but you should consider it a couple of things. I wouldn't recommend clients switch to Chorus before the launch of Aurora. There's a chance you might need to go through the setup process twice, and it's still unclear how this is going to play out with customizations. The other qualification is about money. If you have the budget, Chorus is still just about the most robust platform out there today, but you pay a very high premium for that. And it's definitely worthwhile getting competitive quotes. However, Chorus is a strong platform. It's a platform that you buy, not because it's at the cutting edge of innovation, but because it's a very solid and a very reliable bet. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the Series Community Platform Wars. I'm really eager to hear from you as well. We're a community here, so please tell me what you think. What's been your experience using your platform? What's been your experience using Chorus? You can leave your comments below and please subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Thank you so much.